Uh, I am uh, Brother Fermin Panisa. I am a member of the Hospitaller Brothers of St. John of God, a congregation that was found, founded in uh, Granada, Spain. So here in our uh, delegation in the Philippines, we are running a program that aids uh, religious men and women in the search for healing. And so we uh, accommodate people who come to us for their uh, psychological needs. The name La Colcha comes from a street in Granada, Spain, which is very significant in the life of our founder because that's where he was able to reconcile two men fighting with each other over a particular issue. And then these two men, you know, became his first followers. And that place uh, in Granada, La Colcha, Calle Colcha, has become very significant that because that's where our founder became an instrument of healing for these uh, two men. In following that tradition you know, started by our founder, we sometime in uh, 2016, we decided to come up with opening a psycho-spiritual center where we provide uh, healing for people to experience healing within themselves and healing in their relationships with other people, but most especially in healing their relationships with God. So here uh, we have programs such as the Formation of Formators program, which is our way of helping uh, formators acquire the skills in order for them to become instruments of healing for their own candidates in their respective congregations. Blessed day, I'm Sister Marijuana Rosales, SPC, Sisters of St. Paul of Chart, and I am right here at the Formators, a uh, formation for formators in La Colcha. I find the sessions very helpful, especially in my mission as vocation in charge of the province. One learning I have is it affirmed my um, concept that the reason I entered did not be the reason why I stayed in the congregation. Our motivation eventually gets purified. Um, it might be difficult to admit that we enter religious life for some unconscious and even not so pure motives. And even so, God could still work on those motivations, regardless whether they are pure or not so pure. Along the way, with um, confidence in the Lord and the formation process, we get to recognize what could be moving us to follow the Lord. So I am grateful, blessed. Thank you very much. Good day, brothers and sisters. I am Brother Ralph Maria of Marian Missionaries of the Holy Cross Congregation. And I am one of the delegates here in La Colcha, Formation of the Formators Workshop. So I've been here since August 22 until now. And, you know, I find it so beneficial, not just only to the formators, but also for those who are being prepared for the formators. Because as formators, one big responsibility is to accompany the formants to have that clear view of themselves. But before that, just like what I've said, one important responsibility of the formator is to bring that unconscious level of actual self to that conscious level of actual self of the formants or what we call the updating of the consciousness so that as they have their clear view of themselves they may be easily and passionately be attuned to the religious ideals of their congregation to have that uh, transcendent relationship with God to have that commitment to the Lord Hi I'm Father Ronald Abad of the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, or OMI. Two things I learned from this workshop, and they are important. The first one, self-care. There is this adage, you cannot give what you don't have. As a formator, I am tasked to accompany the formants. But the question is, what kind of accompanying will it be? Affirmative and healthy? That depends how I take care of myself. I believe the self is a gift from God. And so when I value myself, this gift can be shared to others in a healthy way. The second is the need for healing. We have so many needs. Some of those needs are products of painful, if not traumatic, experiences in the past. 
one need will bear another need. And the cycle continues unless we are healed. And healing starts when we also start to accept who we are. So recently, we just concluded our third batch of the formation of formators. And the objective is for the formators to acquire competencies and skills in the use of psychological theories in the process of the accompaniment of our candidates. So this workshop aims at providing formators not only with theories, but learning how to use these theories in the formation process. So this process involves um, workshops where informators learn how to facilitate this uh, process of self-awareness and not only self-awareness but also in the process of self-activation so that uh, through this program the formators who attend the workshop will be able to facilitate an authentic process of growth in preparation for our future workers in the church and in our respective congregations.